Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden, and this homely-looking guy right next to me, this is Tim, and this is The Second Legacy, and thank you for stopping by. Today, we have got a delicious treat of freedom, and oh, the G3 segment. We've expanded it, because I cannot wait to tear this apart, because apparently, guys, there were 27 shootings in schools this past month. Only one problem we're going to show you in a second, and I can't wait to hear what you guys think. Of course, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on it. And with that, Tim... We're filming this on Friday, so it's going to be released on Saturday morning. We had some shenanigans pop off with Hawaii, like basically saying no 2A for anybody. Heller decision? Nope. Bruin decision? Nope. Yep. Country? Nope. <laughs> they went <laughs> crazy. And then, uh, can, I know this is really early to get onto the rumble strip in a video. Already? But, Already. yes. Okay. But <laughs> but I, I cannot help. But this just cracked me up. This is so insane. So we all know that Joe Biden was under investigation for having uh, classified documents in his garage, right? So the, no. special, the special prosecutor in charge of prosecuting that case mm -mm -mm. put out a public statement saying, look, the guy, he's, he's just a well-meaning <laughs> old man. He has, he has poor memory. He's a doddering old fool. He's not really competent to stand trial. So we're just going to let him slide on this one. But he's the president. <laughs> That's okay. It, it's it's okay. Like, hey, listen. He's kind. <laughs> he's kind and he's passionate. Okay, so he doesn't know where so, he is. He doesn't even know what he no, put in he his garage. Doesn't. And they even said no. in the report that he doesn't even remember his vice presidency. But he's right. the president. The right but he's and the he's actual run president. this clown again. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, it's good. No, no, no. Oh, no. Hey, you got your rumble strip time. I get mine now. So what I love about that is two things. One. It hurts, and you illustrated those very, very nicely. But the reason that they're not going to prosecute him is because on the stand, he would look like a kind intentioned or a, a well intentioned, forgetful old man. I'm like, <laughs> kind of like every press exactly, conference. <laughs> that's exactly what I want to hear when I'm looking at my president. <laughs> um, okay, so that's, and, but dude, they are, they are freaking out on this one and his follow-up press conference oh. it was like oh my god it was the worst 45 minutes ever and it only reinforced everything it's kind of like that old joke where they left tries to get you to say that you know you don't beat your wife when it's like you beat your wife i didn't beat my wife and then the story is oh person says they didn't beat their wife well this one's like i'm not old and forgetful uh biden says he's not old and forgetful <laughs> what, what are they i'm not old and uh, billions yeah it's billion four hundred million excuse me a trillion four hundred billion nice right. nice doctor dude yeah, yeah I mean, and it, then, at um, some at some point at some point those that used to support him have to come to the realization that okay, this man is not with that. us anymore, but still it's he'll get 50% of the vote. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah. Have, have you, have you seen this morning's Twitter responses from the typical suspects on the left? It is no longer, they aren't like, they have shifted into full on spin mode. If you ever want to know if they're freaking out, go to a Twitter feed and look <laughs> for someone with a blue wave behind their name. Yeah. And you can tell what they're concerned about because every single one of them is like, I'm proud to vote for this guy. He's kind and he's a nice old guy and he loves this country. I'm like, well, that shifted quick. About a week ago, it was, he's perfectly fine. The country's yeah. great. We've never been better. I had a conversation with him yesterday. He's the sharpest guy I ever met. Smartest guy in the room. <laughs> sure, I mean, he may poop himself and he doesn't know Know where the door is and he falls off every staircase you put him on but hey he's doing great folks but he's doing great but he's well-intentioned and he loves this country and he does and it's any he, every day he wakes up okay they just need um, to, yeah they just no, need to make, make a short bus version of air force one you know because they already put they already make him go into the cargo hold because you'll fall off the regular stairs so now they just need to make a short bus <laughs> <laughs> okay can we call that one air force lit <laughs> Air Force oh, one half. Yeah. <laughs> Air Force point five. Oh, thank you, thank Thanks, you. Doc. That's good. That was. You know what? Uh, that was a good rumble strip. Before we go into Hawaii, wow, I did appreciate we get you, Tim. Way out there, off the, <laughs> out of our lane onto the rumble strip. I think no, we're it, in the other guy's lane at that point. Okay, let's pull. This no, back. it's okay. We're facing head-on traffic, but it's okay. Yeah. But um, genuinely, I think it needed to be said because everyone and their brothers mm. talking about how abysmal that was. Yeah, but. Don't get me now started on the Tucker interview. Lane. Okay, let's go. Let's, no, I can't. Yeah, I no, can't no. do that's, that. That's for another day. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yeah. That is, I believe, verboten. Um, yeah, so 
when we get back in our lane and we're not facing oncoming traffic, um, Hawaii, Tim, Hawaii, the 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 five zero, yeah, the the top, the tippity tops of the volcano islands. Um, it turns out that there's a new ruling, Tim, mm-hmm. and oh, did they hold nothing back? Yeah, I mean, in my opinion, I think they just made themselves a candidate for the next big landmark case for gun rights. Yeah, they may have, you know, but. You know, that crazy little island nation way out in the middle of the Pacific. What are we going to do with them? That's true. You know, it's interesting you say island nation. We'll come back to that in a second. So let's dive into this, Dr. Button Push. Oh, no, 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 no. They want to become a nation. Mind your business. Mind your business. (laughs) They were a nation until we took them over. (laughs) (laughs) There's going to be a... Colonialists. Typical, what are we gonna do? Typical colonizers. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, well, just wait for it because that makes an appearance. Let's hit number three here. Um, Dr. Button Pusher. Hawaii rejects the Second Amendment interpretation and landmark decision from the Hawaii Supreme Court, nonetheless, Tim. So let me just lay the groundwork here, show you what's going on. This is number four. The Supreme Court of Hawaii has ruled a man can be prosecuted for carrying a gun in public without a permit in the state, overturning a lower court ruling that concluded this would violate his rights under the Second Amendment. Well, that that seems kind of like it has some sensitive places vibes, but they didn't stop there, yeah. Tim, and beautiful people of the Second Legacy. They went full hog. This is number five. The state Supreme Court concluded, quote, we reject Wilson's constitutional challenges, conventional interpretive modalities, and Hawaii's historical tradition of firearm regulation rule out an individual right to keep and bear arms under the Hawaii Constitution. In Hawaii, there is no state constitutional right to carry a firearm in public. Um, wow. <sighs> what do you want to start there? You want to start with the heller, or you want to start with the bear part, or you want to start with the Hawaii state I'm, constitution? I'm looking We've got the, options. I'm bringing up the Hawaii state constitution right now. I got it. No, oh, I already okay. got it for you. Yeah, because Oh, I, I came ready. I'm pretty sure, and this is off memory, but I'm pretty sure there is something in there that's very similar to the federal constitution, but really... Tim, that's interesting. Let's throw out number two for the people, because I came ready. Okay. Uh, this is section 17 there it is. of the Hawaii State Constitution. Um, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. <laughs> the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. I don't it's know literally the I've same. heard that before. I knew it. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's weird. I, I've, I don't know where I've heard that before. In fact, I went one further, Tim. I ate my Wheaties this morning. This is number one. It turns out that Hawaii did adopt the federal constitution of the United States of America. There it is right there on behalf of the people of the state of Hawaii. So we've got federal and we've got state saying the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah. And we've got the SCOTUS of the state going, yep, yeah, there's really. no rights. Yeah. Nope, doesn't exist. Wow. And I just want to remind <laughs> the folks, we don't like – Bray doesn't share this stuff with me before we start mm. filming. So this no, is all a surprise to me to get my reaction. And, and uh, yeah. Wow. So that's really hysterical, so, man. And then, then they, oh yeah. not only do we just, did they copy the constitution, like adopted it in its entirety, mm-hmm. but then, then they also just verbatim copied the second amendment. They got and, their and own version. Goes, ah, you know what? There, there's no right to own a gun here. Uh, that, 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 no. Those old farts and the powdered wigs. They did. Yeah. Oh, that makes an appearance too. Oh, does it? <laughs> dude, these guys. Oh, yeah, dude. These guys did not hold back anything in their stupid. I mean, like, I swear to you, they're just looking for get, to get their names in front of the SCOTUS because they're gonna with this one. Yeah. Now let's continue here because it just gets better. It gets better, Tim. This is number six. In its judgment, the Hawaii Supreme Court said the Second Amendment uses, quote, military tinged language, well regulated militia, and bare arms to limit the use of deadly weapons to a military purpose. In contrast, there are no words that mention a personal right to possess lethal weapons in public places for self-defense. So, you know, the right you've of got the two people. things here. Right, you're right. You've got two hmm. things here, Tim. One, they're they're dredging up something from your gunfight era, where they were saying that it's a military and the militia was owned by the state, right? In the collectivist argument, and then they also just said, you know what, the Heller decision that doesn't apply to us because hashtag Hawaii. Yeah, like literally, this argument <laughs> was shredded thirty years ago, folks. This whole yep. collective rights thing that you know th- we have a Bill of Rights, and the original Bill of Rights was ten amendments, but you know nine of those dealt with your rights being protected. But that pesky second one, that was protecting the right of the state to arm itself against you in case they wanted to use their weapons against you. It was just yeah. this big misunderstanding. 
<laughs> yeah, that got shredded, folks. <laughs> it got smoked. It got so smoked. And the Heller decision reaffirmed your right to have a gun, and specifically it was in your house, and they mentioned some things around common use, and they pretty much destroyed any vestige of, well, the militia is this, and that gun belongs with the militia, and the individuals don't have that. I mean, they they, they smoked it from orbit. Yeah. Does not exist anymore. Right. And, and then you get into the are. whole Heller thing, right, which was pretty much the same argument. And then you have McDonald in, D, in, 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 mm -hmm. uh, yeah, in Chicago. I mean, it, it's it's this has been litigated. <laughs> the Supreme 100%. Court has spoken. Uh huh. And yet they're like, so, yeah. So no. right now, <laughs> yeah. So right now, so right now, Tim, if you guys are keeping track at home, beautiful people of the Second Legacy, so far we have infringed upon SCOTUS decisions that are sitting within with the McDonald with McDonald case, and also with the Heller decision. We got more coming, by the way. Then we've got a federal. Amend, um, amendment violation, and we have a state amendment violation, all of which constitution. So we're going two constitution, one federal, one state, and two different Supreme Court, and they're just getting warmed up, Tim. They're just getting warmed up. It's okay, because this is how we do. Uh, let's see. Let me let me make sure if I want to make sure. We, oh, yeah, well, here you, we, here's the next one, Tim. This is number seven. I'm going to read the second part of this. The Hawaii Supreme Court referenced the island's history as an independent kingdom as well as dramatic improvement in firearm capacity since the Second Amendment was ratified in 1791. To justify its ruling, it wrote, quote, We believe it is a misplaced view to think that today's public safety laws must look like laws passed long ago. And Bruin decision. Yeah. Wow. So, hey, so when I, I slipped up and called him a country instead of a state. Exactly. Well, I, I, I was misspoken there, too, because it's a kingdom. Yep. Even better. That's right. Yeah. The independent yeah, kingdom. So it's an of independent Hawaii. kingdom. Yep. Yeah. So it's an uh, independent kingdom of Kalawala Luki. That's what it is. Yeah. Or Mili Mili Malawaka. Did I, I don't know how you say these words. I, I believe there's a movement in Hawaii as well to restore mm. the kingdom. I thought I read something. Weird. I, there, there is a little bit of one. You know what? Yeah. There's also some arguments that popped up here around something that goes on that the that the federal government really doesn't like, and I think it's called a sovereign citizen. They really don't like that, and this this Supreme Court in the state of Hawaii just kind of invoked it. Yeah, just it's saying. almost it's almost like they're they're trying to secede a little bit here. They're just almost. like saying, you know what? <laughs> yeah, that, that constitution we ratified along with the rest of y'all. Nah. nah, never mind. We were kidding. Oh, and that whole Second Amendment nah. thing? <laughs> yeah, we pulled the wool over your eyes on that Please. one. Matter of fact, we're a kingdom, and, and what are you going to do about it? We're in the middle of the Pacific. <laughs> it, it, exactly. It, whatever, you know? <laughs> it's like, uh... Guys, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hang your hat on that one. No. <laughs> you look like a tasty little morsel you're on a, a hook out in the middle of the Pacific. <laughs> you're a lot closer to China than we are, folks, and it, it's going to get ugly. <laughs> if you thought the Japanese I had a little fun with that. your island, wait till the Chinese yeah. come across the Pacific. I know. I know. Uh, and Tucker was just talking to Putin like we were talking about earlier, and he's looking at Hawaii. I mean, you know they need a good uh, good warm water port. You know how they love them a warm water port. <laughs> didn't, didn't, Too soon? Didn't Putin just decide, oh, yeah, that whole land purchase of Alaska that we did back in the day? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we didn't really want to do that, and yet still are. No biggie. Yeah, <laughs> no biggie. Yeah, it's not a big deal. After all, there's some Russian speaking people there. Um, but yeah, you know the the thing that I love, the thing that I love about this, and it just it brings a smile to the heart. Um, the part here, Tim, where they said, as well as the dramatic improvement in firearm capacity since the Second Amendment was ratified in 1791. Well, you know what other rights were ratified around that same time frame? The freedom of speech. Yeah. Um, and we've come a little bit of a long way with the dispersion of free speech uh, from quill pens and printing presses. Yeah. So I mean, our founding fathers could have not. Same logic. That there's no way our founding fathers could have ever envisioned the fact that we could get news on our watches and, exactly. and we could send text messages, you know, just by speaking into devices like Dick Tracy. They had no idea that could have happened. No. I mean, we got to regulate these Dick things. Tracy was. We, we got to. Yeah. yeah they, Dick Tracy wasn't even a thing then. It was just fiction <laughs> back then. But now we've really done it. And boy, we just got to stop yeah. this. This the, these crazy powdered wig guys. They had no idea That's what freedom crazy. could bring. Yeah. No, it's insane. I mean, like, could you imagine the unintended consequences of having people be able to communicate with freedom of speech through digital form and Twitter and Internet and all in YouTube and video formatting? Oh, my goodness. We should probably get rid of the First Amendment as well. By this logic, that's what they're saying. Yeah, it is. It is so insane. But 
You know what, Tim? I got one more thing for you. And this one, you're going to love. You're going to love it so much. This is what the court said. This is from the actual decision. <laughs> Quote, as the world turns, it makes no sense for contemporary society to pledge allegiance to the founding era's culture, realities, laws, and understanding of the Constitution. This was followed by a quote from the hit HBO show, The Wire, stating, the thing about the old days, they the old days. Um, wow. Hmm. Folks, you know what? We're talking about 200 years here, right? You're, you're talking about a handful of generations. Our country's not that old. We're, we're 46 presidents in, right? And they're acting like the Constitution was written during biblical times or something. But even then, <laughs> are the rights of people 2,000 years ago any less important than they are in 2024? I mean, what's the argument here? Well, freedom of speech was okay back in the 1700s, but in 2024, yeah, we need the government to kind of regulate that. We need to listen to every phone call, read every text message, Mm -hmm. go through every email, and just make sure that you're not doing something you shouldn't be doing. Is that what they're advocating for here? I'm I'm at a loss. It seems like that. It's it's kind of weird, right? Like this is a this is a state supreme court. Supremely like, ignorant. This doesn't, I think what they're I, supremely dumb. Yeah, I think I, I think that they they understand secession's a tough way to go. It can be done, right? It it, it can be done, <laughs> but I think oh, they God, understand dude. it's a very difficult process. I think they're just trying to get themselves kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to make the most. Yeah. They're trying to misbehave in class, so they just get kicked out of class. <laughs> they gonna, they want to get they want to get sent to the <laughs> office, dude. They're done. They want out. I, I dig it. I dig it. But Tim, but Tim, honestly though, you are not taking into consideration something crucially important. I'm not sure if you heard me when I say it. Conventional interpretive modalities. You didn't. You didn't see that. That's it. That's important. Oh, Con- interpretive modalities. That's really key. Interpretive. Kind of like kind of like those dances those they do. Modalities. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Kind, kind of like interpretive the interpretive Kind of like the Christmas dance to the White House this year was a bit interpretive. Ooh, was it not? Yeah. Too soon. Too soon. Anyway, so. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna get yeah. us in trouble. You I know, mean, hey, I know this is this is this is really dark, like gallows slash military humor. Um, but I think the people oh, in Hawaii ought to be a little bit careful because you know the Cold War is heating up again. Uh, there, there's a good chance that you know above ground nuclear testing may resume just because you know that's what we did during the Cold War, and they might want to open a, a history book and take a look at the Bikini Atolls. Um, the United States has a history of using islands for really really bad things. They might want to be careful. Uh, that's actually, I think, I think that's where Godzilla came from. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you guys don't want to have another Godzilla. See, you thought we were inferring something with nuclear armament. We weren't. We were really we concerned can make about monsters. Gojira. Yeah. We can yeah. Make, you can't yeah. have big iguanas. You got pterodactyls, you know, the size of Texas and, yeah. and big lizards that come out of a lot. You got to be careful. You got to be careful. That's true. You got to watch out for that. Hey, what was that movie where it was cowboys versus dinosaurs? No, cowboys what versus Lamb- aliens. No, I know that's the movie, but I'm saying I can't remember the title of the movie. It was something where there were cowboys. And they went back in time when they were fighting like pterodactyls and stuff. Okay, <laughs> and I, I haven't seen that. that one. But Cowboys and Aliens well, was good. All right, it was it was an old movie. It was an old movie. <laughs> Must but be. now, Tim, the old man, we've we've covered we've covered the beautiful tippy top volcanoes of uh, tyranny out there in the Pacific. <laughs> now, <laughs> the moment, the moment that people have been waiting for. This segment, we are combining the second segment. And the Goofy Gun Grabbers, because one of Tim's favorite creators on Twitter, K-12 Shooting School, a school shooting database, has made a video. And Tim, I heard from, I can't ever say her name right, Jayapal, the progressive leader, that there were 27 shootings at schools in January. And uh, K-12, through Davey here, don't name your kids Davey, folks, he made a video all about it. He walks us through it, and I cannot wait. To show you what he said, because like uh, yeah, I think boy. you said pre-show that uh, you couldn't watch it because all the hair on your back stood up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I was scrolling through my image. feed and I saw his video. I just like scrolled right past it because I, I just can't well, stand to look at the guy when when you see his face. No, 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 no! Stop it! <laughs> stop, stop no, that. I'm gonna. That will get us in trouble. Just put a little. Just imagine <laughs> his face with a little bit of white makeup on it, and some red lipstick, and you have Pennywise from. <laughs> okay. Oh, but, uh, not Pennywise. Yeah. See, you're gonna this, get us in this trouble. is a creepy. It's okay. I, I really want to see what's on his phone because anyway. Uh, whoa! Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! It's, I guarantee it's a you lot this guy's not research. right in the head. <laughs> it's research and database, but that's okay. This is all subjective. So <laughs> yes. what we're going to do here is allegedly. Dr. Button Pusher. Allegedly. 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 Uh, Dr. Button Pusher is going to make a key performance appearance here. So what we're going to do is we're going to split this. Every five instances he uh, 
that this guy lists out. And then we're going to respond to them and we're going to show you what they're counting as 27 school shootings in January. Uh, Dr. Button Pusher, are you ready for this challenge? Oh, he's All right, ready. Go. All right, Tim. More importantly, are you ready? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I, you I need, should be. I need to you go eat be. a couple of Tums before I have to stomach this. <laughs> nah, mess. we'll get Tums afterwards. All right. So without further ado, let's start it. We'll stop every five. There were 27 shootings at schools in January 2024. And I know that everybody doesn't have time to read a thousand word article about it. So I'm going to give you a rundown of what happened. January 1st in Louisiana, a man with an AR-15 and a handgun fired 100 rounds on a school campus. January 3rd in Virginia, a teenage girl was shot in the parking lot of a school. It was a 15-year-old boy that shot her uh, during a basketball tournament. January 3rd in Tennessee, there were students sitting in their elementary school classroom when a bullet went through the window and struck the wall of the room. The next day in Iowa, there was a planned attack at Perry High School. That was a student with a shotgun and a pistol who started firing in the cafeteria on the first day back from winter break. January 8th in California, there were shots fired in the visitor parking lot during classes. Okay, so I would like to throw out a disclaimer right now. I don't want any of these things to happen. The point is not that we're making light of it. What we're about to break down is what they're showing you and misleading you and saying, what are school shootings, right? Yeah. So, Tim, if I do not like, let me, let me restart that. The last thing that I want on this planet is for a bullet to go through a window and hit a wall where there are right. children present. No one wants that. Right. However, sadly, that happens. Is that a school shooting? No, that happens in downtown Chicago on the regular. Any Correct. Fr any Friday on a regular night, basis. you have bullets hitting houses all over the place <clears throat> because it's not the right. guns; it's the criminals running amok it's that the correct. far left will do nothing to curtail. But anyway. Correct. And the thing that I want to address here is this is not something that is acceptable, but also it is not what they are painting it as in order to take your gun rights. OK, that was just the first five. And one thing that you're going to notice in these, Tim, you're going to hear a whole lot of parking lot talk and you're going to hear a whole lot of basketball game talk. OK, yeah. this is not what you are traditionally coached as what is a school shooting. Right. These are instances near a federal piece of property. Right. OK, keep that in mind. It, when, when, All right. So, if I say to you. There was a school shooting. What, what in your mind, what do you see that as? If you ask me, if somebody says to me there was a school shooting, I would be like, oh my gosh, somebody went into the school, was mm -hmm. going classroom to classroom harming children, right? That's, right. that's what I think of as a school shooting. Uh, a gunfight between gangbangers in a parking lot, hundreds of yards from the actual school building after hours, I don't consider to be a school Correct. shooting. Correct. That's just now, with regular that, old now, gang with that violence. Being said, Exactly right. So now let's keep going. You're going to catch a theme here. In California, there were shots fired in the visitor parking lot during classes. January 8th in Mississippi, a student was shot in the back while they were getting off the school bus. This was a planned ambush. January 9th in Texas, uh, when staff arrived at the school at 7 a.m., they found a murder victim right next to the door, and there were shell casings all over the parking lot. They had to quickly send a message to parents to make sure that students didn't arrive and see the crime scene and they ended up locking the school down while it was investigated. January 10th uh, in Washington, very serious incident. There aren't a lot of details, but a student pointed a rifle at the SRO in the school parking lot and the school went on lockdown. Somehow the situation was negotiated without any shots fired. Uh, but after the school was locked down, all of the other students were bused to an alternate location. January 11th in Louisiana, um, a student was killed. Another student was wounded during a shooting at a basketball game. January 11th in Florida, uh, a student was shot five times during a fight at a high school basketball game. And the mother reported that this student had been bullied. And when he was attacked by a group of students at that game, then he opened fire um, and critically wounded one of them. All right. So did you did you catch a few of those, Tim? Yeah, they found uh, a, so a dead some, body from the night before. A dead body yeah. overnight. Yep. Right. Uh, someone pointed a gun at someone with no details. No shots no were shots fired. That's fired, a school shooting a school now. Shooting. Yeah. Um, there was you a parking had lot. Shootings going on in parking lots again, and yep. then you had one after hours in a basketball game, and then you had gang violence on another student on a school bus. Yeah. All of these things are not good things, no. but they are not what they are presenting them as. In fact, from what I've actually heard so far, and we're at 11 in, I've heard one 
actual school shooting. Yeah. All of these are horrible, but I've heard one so far. Right. So we're batting one for 27 right now. That, that, Anything? um, that is so typical. I mean, this is like what the gun violence archive does. This is what Newtown mm-hmm. does and Giffords and all this stuff. They, they just pull numbers <clears throat> from everywhere and, and they, they compile them together and they go, it's just like what we, the discussions we just had. And they finally got caught with their pants down and were called to task for it where they're, they're counting adults as children just so they can bump the number of children yep. uh, that they can exactly claim right. are, are killed by gun violence. Well, no, actually cars kill more kids than, than the misuse of firearms, but Hey, let's just bolster the out. numbers and, and we'll just double. We'll go from 2000 to 4,000. Sounds good to me. It'll work, work for you, Bob. Bob's good with it. You know, Jody, over there, you go, okay. Yeah. Let's just double the number. Right. Um, and then you got this clown out there saying, uh, yeah, we found a dead body uh, that sometime he died sometime overnight. And uh, yep. So that's a school shooting. We, we, we have yep. um, a gun being waved around, but no shots fired. That's a school shooting. Uh, we have a school a bus lot. that's miles away from the school, uh, probably gang violence or something like that. Once again, some sort of retaliatory attack against another student. But that that's a school shooting, even though nowhere near school property. I mean, yeah, this is ridiculous. Right. This and, is, and we're just getting started. Oh, great. We're only 11 in. Mm. All right, doctor, hit us again. And he was attacked by a group of students in that game. Then he opened fire um, and critically wounded one of them. January 12th, January 12th in Ohio, um, a man was shot in the school parking lot during classes. Uh, this was at a school that has a shared campus that's both a rec center and an elementary school. January 12th in Oklahoma. A student fired a gun inside the school bathroom during morning classes, January 13th in Indiana. A teen was fatally shot in the school parking lot, January 17th in Maryland. um, A staff member who was plowing snow at the school was fatally shot. January 17th in Indiana, a student fired a gun in the bathroom during morning classes. That sounds redundant. So, right. Um, Yeah, did you just do it So you have... I, I mean, it sounds like it, doesn't it? Yeah. So you've got you've got genuinely parking lot, parking lot, one accident inside a, a, a bathroom, which is not a good one. I'm not saying it's good. Right. I'm just saying, look at what they're presenting. The kids right? should not have had a gun um, at school, but it was an accidental discharge no. and nobody was hit. But it's a school shooting, right. folks. <laughs> and then there's the, someone was plowing snow. Yeah. Um, that was that was outside where there's snow. There was a school building somewhere like, in view, and, and therefore right. it's a school shooting. Yeah. <clears throat> It, then, it wasn't even a student got, uh, that was that was shot. It was it was the the, the worker, <laughs> adult, adult. Yeah. Um, then another one. You have an adult that was in an altercation and was shot in a parking lot that shared with a rec center and a school. Do you, are you guys seeing the yeah, theme? Like the, I think the key here is the rec center parking lot. Nothing to do with the school, but the school was nearby. Correct. And it was probably two adults fighting. Uh, but it's a school shooting, folks. Yeah. Right. And that's <clears throat> and that's that's the. It's so asinine the way that they just overtly m- massage and lie in order to get more emphasis on their points to what you said earlier. Well, they just got caught misclassifying and fact checked by the Washington Post about inflating numbers of firearm deaths with children. That's worse than cars. What? When do they stop? Like when do they stop lying? Well, we'll never. Just they 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 got to continue lies. Yeah. It's so asinine. Well, let's let's keep going. This is dry, and I apologize, but we got to do it. 17th in Virginia, police were called uh, for a man who was threatening suicide with a gun outside of the school. Uh, luckily, that school was closed to a, to a cold weather emergency that day. Uh, January 18th in Minnesota, uh, a man at a school event accidentally shot himself in the leg. He was a concealed carry holder. January 12th in Illinois, a student was killed and his older brother was wounded. Uh, they were on the steps of the school waiting for an Uber after a basketball game. January 24th in Tennessee, a parent at an elementary school was fatally shot during pickup. Uh, there were other students, staff, parents there when the fatal shooting happened. January 24th in Alabama, an adult family member uh, was involved in a fight with students and fired shots into the air. Well, um, so now a suicide what? school shooting, uh, CCW carrier accidentally shoots themselves in the leg school shooting. I mean, are you uh-huh. serious with this? Right. No, exactly. And the thing that I love about that first one, uh, well, someone was threatening to harm themselves in a parking lot. Yeah. No one did. No yeah. shots were fired. School shooting. Yeah. Nobody gets school hurt. shooting. Yeah. Uh, it, it just, it's just it, and he says <laughs> this with a straight face. 
Exactly. Well, That's his, the next his thing face, I was going to go down. His face isn't really straight, but you know what I mean. Oh, stop it. Stop okay, it. I'm sorry. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like it, you, you are he is delivering this from a standpoint of absolute fact and truth. This is clearly school shootings. Guys, we're going through this. We're about 19 or 20 of these in. And I've heard one, absolutely, maybe two. And that's if you include an accidental discharge in a bathroom. I mean, like, I have not heard many more no, basketball games. No, you cannot off take campus. Th- that that it's, is that is a gun being brought into school. The accidental <clears throat> discharge into a wall where nobody was hurt is not a school shooting. So that so that okay, so that doesn't count. So we're still at one. Yeah. So we're at one. So let's continue. And by the way, wait wait till the end when he pitches his product. Uh, one more. Iron shots into the air. January twenty sixth in Illinois, two students uh, were ambushed by masked gunmen when they left the school. January 29th in Texas, a 17-year-old student had an AK-47 and a pistol, and he shot a classmate in the school parking lot during lunch and then ran him over with his car. Uh, January 30th in Alabama, a 16-year-old female student shot at a 15-year-old inside the school during a dispute. She grazed him, uh, and the bullet ended up wounding another student. January 30th in California, uh, a 17-year-old student was out in the parking lot when he was approached by a 14-year-old student who shot him. January 30th in Indiana, uh, 12 shots fired in the school parking lot during a fight at a high school basketball game. All those shots missed. January 30th in Tennessee, there were uh, two teenagers that were shot during a fight. Uh, sorry, there were two teenagers that fired shots during a fight outside of a high school basketball game. Nobody was injured. And then January 31st in Illinois, a student was killed. Another student was critically injured. And a third sustained serious injuries when they were ambushed by multiple gunmen when they left the school at at dismissal. So a number of very serious shooting incidents at the schools. Uh, There was also a major averted shooting plot where a student and his father had homemade guns, ammunition, explosives, rocket propelled grenades, and there was a planned attack at the school the next morning in San Diego when police averted it. So a lot of serious situations. Thanks for watching. Uh, Subscribe to Substack. The link is below. I put out information twice a week about all of these incidents. Thank you. He, that's okay. The last one's my favorite, dude. He had homemade guns and rocket propelled grenades. And rocket propelled grenades. (laughs) That is impressive. Oh, and by the way, um, if, if you're leaving school and, and and you're on your way home and masked gunmen attack you, that's a school shooting too, by the way, folks. Uh, it's it, like all of these things. That, and the reason, that guy's dry. It is hard to sit through it. But genuinely, when you look at all of these, there was one mass shooting, or excuse me, school shooting that occurred, and that's the one in Perry. And we covered it, and we talked about it, and there's lots of other things in there as well. But all other 26 of them, nope. You've got the theme of parking lots. Tell me if I missed one, Tim. Parking lots, indies or negligent discharges, firing in the air, basketball games, gang violence, gang violence and fights, after school events, random events that happened to be at schools when kids weren't there and everything was closed. Uh Am I missing anything? No. I mean, there's, the, there, there's the, the other one. Yeah. Well, we had the rocket propelled grenade. That's probably the most serious of them all. Uh, we did have what the girl that fired a shot at somebody grazed one and wounded another or something. So maybe we could count that as number okay, two. Okay. So two. Yeah. But yeah, the rest of them. Seriously. But these are the mental gymnastics they have to do to justify their cause because folks, them taking your rights away, it's all about saving the children. OK, mm-hmm. let's let's not count the 800,000 they abort that never make it to school. They don't count. Right. Th- those, those we don't, don't care them. about that, that, that those million kids every year. <sighs> Whatever. We just we just care about the children and we care about them so much. All of them. We just want to strip you of, of your rights. Yep. We don't want to do yep. anything to and secure you know the-, the schools. <laughs> oh, no, no. We need the By chaos. The yeah, exactly. We, the chaos is so handy, particularly when we reclassify things that aren't what we say they are. And then we make the number, the final number so dramatic. Um, yeah, they I'm not even given. OK, so there were 27 instances he just listed off. Maybe two guaranteed one, maybe two. OK, well, out of 27, two 
That's less than 10%. So they are inflating these numbers by 90%. It is... Good job, no. baby. Oh, it's so bad. And the other thing that I just absolutely love is at the very top, it says, don't have time to read a thousand words. Watch this six minute video. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's dry. It's like... And then over here we had, and then over here, and then, over, and this was really serious with rocket propelled yeah. grenades, homemade guns, oh, and pointed serious. sticks. Watch out for that. In yeah. California, of all places, by the way, the yeah. place of, uh, that couldn't happen there. But yeah, so, so Tim, that is your friend. That is your friend K through 12 school database put out riveting material, riveting. Yeah. Um, Hanging on the edge of your seat, man. Yeah. Edge of your seat. I, I could have done without that today. And what a Debbie Downer well, on, on a Friday. I was all looking it forward is. to the weekend, and now I got that clown's face in my brain. Like I said, I he's know, Pennywise, dude, without makeup. He is. It's the things we have to do. The things we have to do for the people of Second Legacy. Because we have to dispel the lies around our Second Amendment. And sometimes we have to show them. And the truth is not always pretty, Tim. Nope. It's not it always not. pretty. And we just saw about five minutes of truth. Yep. <laughs> well, anyway, so that was our goofy gun grabbers segment, having to listen to old Davey there drone on and on and on with his lies. <laughs> so anyway, we hope you guys have a really great weekend. Thank you for watching Second Legacy, and we'll talk to you guys soon.